Tao Elwan. This is Chen Hanshi from University of Buffalo introducing our work, Cardiac Wave, a millimeter wave-based scheme of non-contact and high-definition heart activity computing. This is a joint work with my collaborators from UB, CU Denver, UCLA, and Duke Kunshan University. In the past 20 years, heart disease has become the leading cause of death in the United States. According to CDC, one in every four deaths in the States is due to the heart disease. Consequently, there is a growing trend that heart monitoring becomes a daily health monitoring routine in addition to its original clinical application. The related market size is more than 30 billion last year. Yet, the heart monitoring relies on wearable sensors or electrodes, which cause skin irritation. Things become severe for continuous and long-time monitoring. Not even to see there is a large amount of medical waste, such as used electrodes, and the device cleanup, supplies. So the researchers have proposed non-contact heart monitoring. The mainstream of these studies is to sense the slight chest movement due to the heartbeat, using sensing modalities ranging from the radio frequencies to visible light. Or to use a camera for heart blood pumping volume sensing, namely PPG. Using these approaches, heart rate, HRV, and SAG-like signal can be acquired. However, heart rate and HRV provide a limited manifest of heart activities. SAG-like signals are also limited because of the inconsistency of measuring locations and the signal to activity correspondence. The golden tool for heart monitoring is still the electrocardiogram. Its fiducial points system describes the correspondence between the ECG and the several major cardiac physiological events. Moreover, ECG is a multi-channel heart monitoring tool, meaning it can measure high-definition heart activities from multiple directions. So is it possible to sense ECG-like signals without contact? Well, it's possible. First, I'd like to introduce a few preliminaries. We know the heart works day and night the root of which is the spontaneous current or voltage in the heart, namely the heart electrical activities. This voltage variation is what ECG records. At the same time, this variable voltage is also generating an electromagnetic field in the nearby space, which can be described using dipole model. Now let's go back to the sensing part. The idea is, according to the Faraday effect, we can use polarized high-frequency millimeter wave to sense this electromagnetic field so that the current and the voltage can be acquired. Thus, we can finally get the heart electrical activities. Talk is cheap. To really sense the heart electrical activity, we got two main challenges. First, we have to figure out the way to get information or the features from scattered millimeter wave. By writing down the formal presentation of the scattering, we found that the heart EM field actually introduced frequency shifts into the scattering. Normally, a filter bank should be good for capturing the shift. However, there are no filters designed for frequency shifts caused by the EM field. Therefore, we propose to run filter coefficients. The idea is to apply lendable mask filters on a denoised response matrix for feature extraction. Then we try to unmask features to get response matrix back. The intuition behind this is that a good feature should carry enough information to reconstruct the response matrix. By minimizing the reconstruction error in terms of the mask filters, we can get filter coefficients. The second challenge is to profile cardiac activity, meaning to get heart electrical activity from millimeter wave response. This problem can be modeled as a PDE system, which takes a lot of computation to solve. For heart monitoring, we propose a deep neural network-based solution. We mainly consider two sub-problems. First, domain knowledge for heart needs to be embedded into networks. For profiling, we use LSTM and attention module to embed two important domain knowledge. One is the Markov property of heart electrical activities, which roots in the heart spontaneous voltage. Another is the periodicity of the heartbeat. The second sub-problem is to measure the fidelity of the reconstructed ECG-like signal for DNN training. In ECG reconstruction, we like to preserve cardiac event that is vulnerable to clinical diagnosis. We propose to use distance between the DWT coefficients as a fidelity function. With two challenges solved, we evaluate the cardiac wave system. We recruit 40 subjects to collect three-channel ECG and millimeter wave at the same time. To evaluate the performance, we use objective metric, which measures the timing error of the heart events. We also use a semi-subjective metric called weighted event distortion, 
which is close to ECG reading experts. Here comes the results. We observe the timing error of fiducial points are less than 1% of the heart period. The error of QRS complex is relatively low because the fidelity function is designed to be more sensitive to sharp signals in terms of the timing. For the weighted event distortion, we observe all results located in a good range, where distortion of channel 2 is slightly higher. This is because the weighted event distortion considers the amplitude of signals also, and the channel 2 has higher peak value. We conclude our contribution in three folds. First, we propose a new non-contact and high-definition scheme for cardiac electrical activity computing. Second, we develop cardiac wave to provide ECG-like high-resolution and multi-channel measures. Third, we demonstrate ECG-like signals given by cardiac wave have a high integral cardiac events and signal fidelity by extensive experiments. Here come several potential future works for cardiac wave. First, to evaluate cardiac wave on the cardiac disease patients and determine the applicable range of cardiac wave. Second, implement the indoor co-current cardiac activities monitoring based on cardiac wave. Third, we can integrate cardiac wave into millimeter wave baseband processor or other dedicated chips for better energy efficiency. Thank you for listening. I'm happy to take any questions.